This week we're talking recovery sandals. Aussie soles have an orthotic arch support. The extremely comfortable, flexible and lightweight flip-flops are made from a unique Oslite antibacterial polymer foam. The flip-flops feature a medial and transverse support, deep heel recess for extra comfort and a tarsal bar that aids the elimination of toe clenching. The flip-flops have support in them that realigns your feet into their natural position. This also helps the alleviation of common foot pain like plantar fasciitis. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things down there, including the link to Aussie Souls and Ufus or Ofus or whatever you want to call them. Right, recovery sandals, let's get stuck in. Right guys, so first up a disclaimer, I was given these sandals or flip-flops by Aussie Souls to test and to try out. I wasn't given the uh, Ofus or Ufus or whatever you want to call, but I thought it'd be cool to compare the two, but I just want to give a disclaimer. Uh, Aussie Souls have no, uh, obviously, uh, say on the video. They don't pay me for the video or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you know before we started. Right, so recovery sandals. Now, these are a cool thing. There's also another um, type you can get made by Hoka, and I think there's some other ones that are out there. But I think the most popular out there are the Ofus or Ufus, and I'm probably gonna get shocked to pieces in the uh, comments about the pronunciation, but you know what, I don't care. Um, and these are probably the most popular out of them. Aussie Souls, though, I think are very, very interesting. Um, and it's not just because they send them to me. I think it's, I've been wearing both of these, and you could probably see because they're filthy dirty and so are those. But I've been living in these um, the last few weeks because it's been really nice weather out here. I've started to pick my running up. Uh, again after where I was ill. So I've been spending a lot, a lot of time in these. I spent uh, a lot of time in these last summer and the last week I've been deliberately alternating between the two to get a real feel, so just so you know where we're at. So the whole idea of recovery sandals, recovery shoes, uh, recovery flip-flops or whatever you want to call them is that basically after you've done your long runs uh, and you've done your running or whatever, uh, speed sessions, and you've basically given your body, legs, knees, feet an absolute battering, you put these on and these are going to help you out. What happens with the Ufus, I'm going to call them, um, these have got a, an absorption in them, uh, which is why they're extra cushioned here. And basically that's taking a lot of, it's like acting like a shock absorber and it's taking a lot of the stress away as you are walking. So after those runs where you hey, say you've put stress on your body, on your knees, these are taking a lot of the stress away from that as you're recovering uh, from that run. So I mean, for example, after a marathon, these are amazing to put on. Um, I put these on after London Marathon and I'll put them on after Chelsea Marathon last year. Awesome. These guys, which are a lot lighter by the way than these, uh, these feel like a piece of paper compared to these. I really, really like these uh, and I'm glad that they gave them to me because I found these a lot, lot more comfortable. These are quite heavy and cumbersome um, and these, I like the way they're kind of molded to my feet a little bit more. I'm also digging, and maybe it's psychological, I do feel like my foot in, in this one is clenching, and I mentioned it in the B-roll, but in here I feel locked in, I'm, I don't feel my foot moving around. You know sometimes where you're wearing flip-flop sandals, whatever, you feel like your toes are sort of gripping onto this bit? You don't get any of that. And, and even though it doesn't look like there's much cushion in there, uh, it's not like you're walking on the ground. It is, it's a really comfortable place to be, and it's a real nice place to be after you've done those long runs. Um, I kind of dig the tech, what they're saying about it. I can't say that I've noticed. I don't, I'm really lucky. I don't, I'll touch some wood. I don't suffer at the moment from like plantar or anything like that. I don't have any issues with that. Um, so I'm really lucky in that respect. So I can't say that I've noticed any different with regards to the alignment and all that sort of stuff that they that they have in this. You do notice the heel support, I would say, when you're walking in. But again, that's that's nice. That's not a bad thing. So out of the two, with regards to recovery sandals, if you... If you want something a little bit more natural feeling, if you want something that's, uh, you know, like I say, you don't feel like you're clenching with your toes and stuff like that, nice and lightweight, then go for the Aussie soles. If you want something that's a little bit more cushioned um, and you don't mind being heavier, then maybe go for the Ofus or Ofus. But for me personally, I'm really, really digging the Aussie soles. Mm -hmm. 